Hello ladies and gentlemen, toy enthusiasts and those new to Tough New Toys LLC. I'm your host Uncle Nerd and welcome to another exciting episode of Busted Open. Busting it open since 2007 and today we're going to be reviewing G.I. Joe Classified Series Profit Director Destro. Let me bring this a little bit closer. Man, again, everybody knows that I love Destro. If not, you will check the other videos and I will leave a link in the description below or maybe just post it somewhere on this video right here so that you guys can see how much I love Destro. Destro is absolutely amazing. Now I'm not going to go too much into his bio because I did this earlier and I will link this, I will link that other video in inside of this one so that you guys can see where uh, Destro come from, okay? But you know what? I may do it just in case. I may do it just in case because it's going to have the same bio and you can get the bios of these characters on GRGL.com if you're, you know, if you decide to purchase the classified line and i mean like this this line just keeps getting better and better a lot of people find this destro goofy i absolutely love it this is pimp daddy destro a lot of people don't want to call him pimp daddy destro that's what we're going to call him here at tough nerd toys he is called pimp daddy destro the hood destro or the ones that go the urban the urban the urban pacification hood destro whereas though he can like go in the hood and people mess with him the hood loves destro destro is the hood because he get down like that so yeah we're gonna go into the box right here and it looks absolutely amazing you got the gi joe logo and gold right here letting you know that this is all about the money look at that glare got the destro profit director going on right there now the box art i'm not too fond of right here this one looks a little goofy compared to this one right here <laughs> a wild tigress i see this looks a little bit goofy to me i'm not really digging this too much but i don't care but you know it reminds me of like some steven universe or something like that again you get the typical collage of joes and cobras in the back right there going on you got your legal mumbo jumbo going on along the bottom along this and on the side got number 15 in a nice gold foil type wrapping or type type uh etching right here you know they don't even give these numbers on here so i mean like i might not even have to go to gi joe if you want to check out gi joe go to gi joe.com and they'll definitely show you where this guy is coming from because they didn't even give the numbers like they did on this package over here is it at mm, where's his numbers at okay they didn't put it on this one i was surprised could have swore they had numbers because i definitely did the comparison but yeah I did the, uh, you know, to show you like which one, what the ranking was, so on and so forth. But yeah, as you can see, it comes in this beautiful window box right here. And it looks like they, they're not too sparse on the accessories on this one right here. He is looking great. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Man, man. And again, I try to tell people these action figures looking, this line of uh, action figures actually looks better outside of the package than it does in the package. It got the nice little gold logo of... Uh, gold foil logo of a uh, cobra right there number 15 over here i think i showed you everything you know you got uh profit director over here profit director destro number 15 gi joe low gi joe foil gold foil gold foil no gold foiled over here but still looking good and i think that's it about the box so give me a second let me bust this guy open and we're going to see if destro is worth the scratch gi joe will return after these messages okay this is guy over here man come on man come on man got the nice little now this is nice back here i'm loving this cobra logo right here this is like the like you know here in miami getting it in cobra is everywhere they got to make that money everywhere you got palm trees nice little 80s vaporwave looking coloring going on stuff like that look at that this is beautiful this is absolutely beautiful now this backdrop i actually might keep so i'm gonna put that over there Throw this over here. Nothing else in the box. Got the legal, you know, the little pamphlet that comes inside. Oh, man. Oh, man. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. So we're going to bring out the leopard cape. We're going to bring out the gold attache slash suitcase. Oh, man. We're going to bring out the money ain't a thing right here. Ooh, boy. Boy. We're going to bring out the 80 shades right here. Oh, man. He got the Calvin Klein shades looking nice and blue, polarized looking. Look at this. Oh, man. Put that over there. We're going to bring out the main man, the hustler, the big Duke, the OG Duke right here. I mean, uh, what's his name? Destro right here. Man, this guy got me excited, bro. Oh, man. And then we got another gold pistol from the, from the other 
Destro. We're going to get a little bit closer and look at this. Look at the detail on this, man. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. The same gold pistol as before. Let me bring it a little bit closer so you guys can see in the light. Look at that. Look at that. But I would say it's a little bit more brighter than the other gold pistol that came with Destro. But it's looking good. It's looking real good. Over here, we got another suitcase. And it's the same as the other one, but it's done in, it's, it's done in a gold paint. As you can see, this has been etched inside or like sculpted into the suitcase. It's kind of hard to get the suitcase open. I don't want to break it or anything like that. So we're going to come back to this right here because it's kind of hard. I don't want to snap this. A lot of people are like just gutting. I've broken so many action figures trying to open them or like twist them around or whatever the case may be. Yeah, I don't want to do that right now. So we're going to go into his cape right here. It looks great. Got the leopard print going on. Look at this. Look at this. Now, of course, because it's trying to be so flamboyant or so uh, outlandish looking. The paint is going to be a little bit caked on. I mean, like, you know, a lot of people were complaining about this is that, but it's supposed to be, you know, outlandish looking. I love it. I absolutely love it. I love how it has the little ruffles going along here or the fringes or the, or you can say like the fur, the imitation fur. Now, it's not, there's not that much detail to this. So, I mean, don't be, you know, don't really look for like a whole bunch of like lines, or whatever, but it's done just enough. I love the gold little clasp and buckles that they have here along connected with the chain and i mean like this is this is absolutely amazing i love it there's not many dark lines in it or anything like that but it, it's good for what it is it's very good for what it is i'm absolutely loving this and it's done out of a hard plastic this is not like a vinyl this one is like a hard plastic now along here it's hard plastic as well so you know i guess they did it that way so that it can fit right onto the character like this so you can slide it right down and have him with the pimp daddy look. Now, me and myself, I'm going to keep it a little bit up because I love the, I, I don't know. I don't know. I got to see once I start checking this. But enough of that right there. I think I went through his um, accessories and everything. And I get, I did show you the burning money. Well, the money ain't a thing. And you got him looking great right here. Man, I am loving these G.I. Joe classifiers. Look at this. Admire this big figure for the beautiful aesthetics that it has. Look at it look at this now what they did do in certain aspects because i can tell that they really couldn't uh go in too much depth because again it's the same reused body sculpt as the original destro that i reviewed a while back but it just works it just works and a lot of people don't understand that this right here his chest to me a lot of people are like oh that was his skin i never looked at it as that being his skin i looked at that as being like a shirt that he has on because honestly he doesn't really want you to know what race or ethnicity it is Although the black people in the black community, we always accepted him as the black man. We just felt as though he had like on a like on a skin colored shirt. You know, oh, you know, like uh, stockings. You know how those stockings look, like the old fashioned stockings. That's how I always looked at looked at this um, looked at this as being. I never took this area right here as being skin. But enough about that. Look at the detail in his face. It's absolutely amazing. Great sculpting, great lines within the head. They have some nice uh, lines along the top and everything like that. Along the back, he's looking great. It's the same head sculpt as with, kind of like with this one, this Destro right here. I just feel as though this gold really works with him. And I'm not a person who likes the color, who likes gold, but this looks great. Again, an awesome side profile. Nice lines within the face, if you can see right there. Look at that. Look at this guy, looking amazing. Got the leopard print going all along in the collar right here. Got the pendant right here with connected to the gold herringbone chain. No, I wouldn't say that's a herringbone chain. That's pretty much like a um a dookie rope chain with a nice pendant right there. You got some nice coloring and painting right here. Now, again, you have to understand because this figure looks so outlandish, he's gonna his paint apps are gonna look a little bit clunky or a little bit, you know, thick. But they wanted that look. You need that look to differentiate him from the other Destro so that you'll get you get it. You get it. Got nice textures along the along the shoulders. Just the same thing as you got with the other Destro. Only thing is, it's a different coloring. Same pattern, same same everything. Just a diff, just different colors and paint apps, as you can see right here. Not that much paint as as on the other one on his knees, on his um knee guards or whatever case may be, on his knee pads. Uh, but I mean, like the same thing. Only thing is down here, the boots are a different color instead of being the gunmetal gray as they were in the uh other figure there are black they're like a black and you have like the gold 
steel tip down here, steel toe right here. So I mean, like, you know, it's looking good. It's looking real good. This figure is looking good. Got nice. Now, again, you have to understand it's a different color Destro. So it's gauntlets are colored a different color. Same, still has the metallic looking tactical gloves as most of the Joes and Cobras do. If you look, there's like knuckle plates along them and everything like that. Kind of like resembles a Transformer ham. Nice textures along the back, but looking smooth. Got the, uh, and again, the paints are pretty even. I don't see any bleeding or anything like that. Vinyl holster that goes, to, you know, for its gold gun holster that goes to his belt right here. There's now, now there's no any, there's not any red as it was within the, um, within the first classified figure, but he's looking good. He's looking real good. Everything is good on this guy. Hope you got a good visual of him. We're going to go into the articulation in a second. Again, these G's Joes and Cobras come with, uh, they come with tight joints, man, tight joints. So as you can see right here, you got nice twist and pivoting of the head. The collar doesn't, in, it doesn't inhibit any of the movement. You know, you got the nice butterfly, um, butterfly joints right there. Arm goes all the way up. You can get a nice, nice angle on this guy. Nice 90 degree going on with the legs and everything. Nice leg splits on and so forth. Be careful. Take your time loosening these guys up. Cause while I just did that 90 degree um, kick, he said a click, click. So, you know, you don't want to pop anything and no, they're not made of crap, car, horrible quality. They're just very stiff and uh, they come out of the package very stiff. He has a nice double hinge elbow, elbow right there, bicep swivel, got nice pivoting along the wrist and everything like that. Look at the missiles on the arms. This is looking good. This is looking real good. Got a nice ab crunch going on right there. Twist in the waist, looking good, looking good. Got a nice thigh twist right here. Blah, 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 blah. He got a double hinge knee so he can do the rising knee. Thought I forgot about it, right? You haven't heard me say it. So he could do the rising knee. You got a nice calf twist going on right there. Ankle pivots and all that other swivel and biddle going on. And man, this guy looks great. I love this Destro. A lot of people are like, oh, he looks silly. I love him. I don't care. This one I love. I love. You can tell that more than likely when they get into more of the of the um classified line, they're going to use this head sculpt to put on the Iron Brigadier 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 um Destro. Got nice eyes within here if you can see real good. Look at that. Look at that face sculpt. Take her away. Take her away. You underestimate me, dear Cobra Commander. Look at him. Look at him. This guy looks great. This guy looks great. Now let's pop a couple accessories on this guy. See what he's looking like. Boom. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, man. Now, of course, once you put this stuff on, it's going to inhibit a lot of his movement. But he is still looking great, man. Look at this. Look at this. I'm loving this. I'm loving this. This is the death gym, man. You can never have enough Destro figures. Let me see if I can get this open without breaking it. Give me one second. Okay, and we finally got this open. You got the imitation money right here. You know, the unmarked bills going on there. He keeps money on. That's Destro. Destro got that guap. I'm telling you, he got that money, bro. He got that money to burn. Got the Cobra insignia in here inside of the computer terminal and everything like that. And yeah, I got this Destro for cheap too, man. I got this Destro for cheap. We got the computer screen right here. So he, and I mean, you know, he got like that traveling 5G connection. You know what I'm saying? You could put the gun inside here. You could put the shades inside here so you won't lose anything. Now, let me show you what he looked like with these shades, bro. Oh, man. Oh, man, look at this dude. <laughs> we shall head to North New Jersey to pick up the shipment. Look at this, boy. And these glasses actually look real nice on him. Look at this, man. Look at this. Pimp Daddy Destro is ready for action, man. He is ready. Suitcase fits in his hand. The same as, same, same as it did with the other action figures and stuff like that. I don't feel like moving his hands around because these Destro has a very tight grip. This action figure, they give most of them Joes have very tight grips in their hands. So I have to kind of like pry this open with hoping that I don't break it. And no, it's not made out of it's not made out of garbage quality or anything. It's just actually these figures are made very premium. And I'm not being sponsored by Hasbro or anything like that, or they didn't know. I bought these figures of my own volition, my own money. 
But yeah, you can fit his, put his glasses and everything in there. You can do the money in your thing. Let's see if we can put the money in his hand, though, because we need to see that money, bro. He need to be seen with that money. Mm. Yeah, his grip is too tight, and I don't want to break him. So you know what I'm going to do? So far, I think I went over everything. You know, he got the nice gray right there and everything. Got the nice gray going on, if you can see. Gray in the belt. Got the leopard print along the crotch area, along the waist, um, along the hips. Looking good, looking good. And again, great detail, great articulation on this guy. I will have tons of fun with this. And I love the fact that he has, what I've always loved about Destro is that he always had like these, um, these, these bearings right here along his neck, like it's locked into it, whatever. But yeah, this is not his skin. A lot of people think that the chest area is his skin. It's not. I always believed it was a shirt or like a sheer shirt that he's wearing. Because Destro doesn't want you to even know what ethnicity, race, or whatever the case may be. He's as elusive as Cobra Commander is. So, I mean, I'm loving this. The collar in the back has the same lines as the other collar on the other Destro. I will do some comparisons once before this video is over. So, I mean, like, yeah. The same holster as before. And, yes, the gun can fit inside of the holster. Let me see if I can get this open again to show you guys. This thing is tight. So, you know what? I'm not going to pressure this too much. Sunglasses are beautiful. Everything is beautiful in this guy. So let me take a couple of pictures. You guys let me know what you think, and I'll be right back. G.I. Joe will return after these messages. So, I mean, as a whole, I think these guys are absolutely beautiful. And you have, you see, I have here, they're in, you know, I have classic, you know, the first one released, the first Destro classified release right next to this Destro. This one, for some apparent reason, looks a bit more chunkier. And that's because, you know, he has all of the accessories and everything like that. They both have the same golden guns. I mean, like, it, it's a beautiful figure. They're both beautiful. I mean, a lot of people don't like gold. I don't think this figure is silly. I actually think this is a perfect figure right here for, uh, like, if you want to do something when he's in the city or something like that. Or pretend like you're in an adventure where he has to have a meeting or a drug deal or some whatever deal in the city, you know, because Destro's into everything. That's why the hood mess with him like that. The hood loved Destro. Everybody loved Destro. Every bad person in, in Newark, New Jersey has done business with Brother Destro here. And I'll tell you about that back in, from back in the 80s. But yeah, he's standing at about, let's say like Destro, Pimp Daddy Destro is standing at about what? Mm, close to seven inches, as you can see. He's the same height as this one. A little bit taller, if you ask me. I don't know why, but it seems as though he's a little bit taller, you know? And uh, here he is next to angry stereotype black man rage let me bring this a little bit closer as you can see rage is a big character he's a big character here he is up against beautiful blaster retardant let's move him over a little bit blaster retardant stormtrooper from the black series line make sure he stands up oh there we go bring this back a little bit and here he is against Standing next to Yo Joe. Let's move him over. Let's move him over. And here he is standing next to six foot two eyes of blue Duke. And as you can see, these figures are absolutely amazing. This Destro right here, I absolutely love. I'm loving the new G.I. Joe Classified series. Um, I can't get enough of them. I'm waiting for more of them to come out. I'm waiting for them to be more readily available in terms of having to play, pay certain high premiums. And yes, I don't mind paying a high premium if I don't get the pre-order. That's just the way collecting is. Stop complaining. You'll be all right. But again, this guy looks great. They all look great, you know? 
So, I mean, like, you know, I, I don't know what to tell you guys, but to, if you're an action figure collector, or if you even just started collecting, and you want to get into the G.I. Joe Classified, do it now, because I have a feeling this is going to start getting real expensive, because a lot of people, I don't know, Hasbro says they're going to start releasing, you know, making them more readily available to their customers, or whatever case may be. We can only hope, but as a whole, I'm, I'm loving these guys. I am loving these guys. I didn't think I was going to like them. Again, if you watch my previous videos, I was, you know, pretty much like, well, not even my previous videos. Like when they first announced things, I was kind of like vitriolic about it. Like I was like, no, I only want G.I. Joe's quarter, three and a quarter, and this, that, and the other. Look at me now. I can't get enough of them. So, I mean, like, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Check out my other friends' um, pages on the side over there. It's in this friend section. Got tons of people. We got Toy Wizards there. We got Norbs. We got everybody. My boy Marcus is up there. The list goes on. And we also, you know, I want you guys to check out Tough Nerd Toys. We got video games. We do video games. We do podcasting. We do the whole spiel. And yes, I know I'm a bit late on these and everything like that. I had a lot of stuff going on. Still got a lot of stuff going on. But I have to do what makes me happy. This right here, reviewing action figures, makes me happy. I absolutely love action figures. I love collecting so on and so forth so i hope you guys have a wonderful day and remember if you buy a toy bust it open what are you doing here making money what you should be doing instead of spending most of your frivolous time dealing with cobra you must have an alternate means of economy or alternate means of money what is your problem you fool <laughs>